Hello my friends! Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you are new here, hey, welcome! I hope you'll consider subscribing for lots more diamond painting content. And if you are back, welcome back! Today I am here with a, another unboxing and this particular one comes from MuniMade, which is a shop that I really enjoy purchasing for and have had some really fantastic experiences with both their diamond painting kits as well as their diamond painting accessories. And I did purchase this kit myself and I wanted to get it out for you, this unboxing out for you close to Halloween because it kind of fits the theme, uh, but also I think it's totally a year round kit as well. So um, I did buy this right at release time and this is how it came packaged. I just opened it up just so you wouldn't see my address. And I'm looking forward to getting into this with you. So um, there are a couple of customizable options Options when you get a kit from Muni Made, and you can choose, for example, if you'd like to have it sent uh, with a storage bag, and uh, it's like um, kind of like a what's the word, like a burlap, not burlap. Um, it's a nice material, actually, and I have gotten it with past kits, but I decided to forego it in this case, and I also uh, elected to get no toolkit at all because I have plenty. However, I have unboxed kits from MuniMade in the past where I have shared both uh, the, the basic toolkit that comes with the kit as well as some of the upgraded toolkit options that you can get as well, which I'll talk about in just uh, a moment in more depth. But uh, there's a thank you card from the owner here. So she's so sweet. Um, it's a really wonderful company to buy from and it's a small business and they make a really, really top-notch quality product. So, um, oops, there we go. Okay, I see what's going on here. Hold on a second. A couple little freebies and whatnot. Hold on a second, I just got something stuck. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so there were a few things tucked here in the box that I just wanted to make sure that I, I did not miss. So, uh, first, look at this cute little... Oh. <laughs> I tried squeezing it and it jumped. Cute little freebie. Oh my gosh, my kids are gonna have a field day with that. Um, and then here is a business card for Muni Made. They do have a Facebook group as well as a few different social media platforms that you can check out. Ooh, and a coupon from, for 25% um, off a purchase from, this is the artist actually, Femke Deborah is the artist for this artwork I'm gonna be showing you guys today. And then it looks like there is something taped on the end of this roll here. So let's take a look. Actually, let's pull this off. Okay, so looks like they've made a rendering update probably just after this was produced. We recommend making these changes to the charted colors when working on your kit. So they're recommending replacing this symbol with this symbol. I'm guessing specifically in these areas of the kit which you know what? Oh, they've got it circled here. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, so the areas that would be charted with this lighter color right here in her face, they've changed it, which I really like that. I like that they noticed that, hey, here's a, a an improvement or something that we um, wanna change just based on how it's looking now that we have it or something. I don't know, I don't know what that process exactly looked like, but this is actually really cool. I really like that a lot and um, I, from past Muni Made kits that I've worked on, I know that I have had plenty of extra in my drill colors, uh, in my drills. So I'm sure that especially just a small area like this, uh, swapping these in, I am sure I'm not going to run out of diamonds. I'm really sure I'm not. But if for some reason I were to run out of diamonds, I would just contact Muni Made because their customer service is really fantastic and uh, they are, very, very quick to want to make things right if you have any issues um, with your with your kit at all. So I do love that. Oh, you can see, by the way, this is really handy, especially since I did not get any kind of, I chose not to purchase <clears throat> the add-on of the, the storage bag for this. I do love that even though when it's gonna be stored in this plastic sleeve, I'm gonna be able to see what kit this this is, which by the way, there you go, there's the original artwork. Uh, the title on this one I believe is The Witch's Apprentice and is by, yeah, oh, it's right there, Witch Apprentice by Femke Deborah. Rounds diamonds, 60 by 85 centimeters, and I'm really looking forward to taking a look at this. Now, I've completed two kits from Muni Made, um, one round drill, one square drill, and have been really incredibly happy with uh, both kits and thought that they were just really be both beautifully done. And I've done post reviews on both of them, I believe. So I will have those linked below if you wanna take a look at how 
Muni Maids kits can uh, look when finished and just get a sense of their overall quality. So there is that canvas as we're unrolling it here. That's a bigger one. Okay, so <laughs> can't quite fit it all on frame. And of course it wants to roll right back up. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move the contents over here to the side. We're gonna roll it back the opposite direction, which if you happen to be new to diamond painting, um, this is just a really quick and easy way to help your canvases lay flat. It's just rolling them back the opposite direction. I feel like most diamond painting companies at this point are using poured glue with their canvases, which you can usually tell if there's a clear plastic cover like this. Um, poured glue is totally safe to roll backwards. If you happen to find yourself with a kit that has double-sided adhesive, you don't wanna roll that backwards because that is going to give you trouble. Okay, I feel like I need to also then roll it back from this side because <clears throat> It like didn't I didn't get it tight enough the first time okay there we go much happier oh she's cute oh I like this a lot you guys this is so fun and what I was saying earlier about this feeling very much like a Halloween or fall themed kit I feel like with some of the falling leaves and of course you know the witch and Halloween um I think is is true but also I feel like witch kits are something you can and magic kits in general are ones you can absolutely do year round and so I'm not too worried about that this is not something that I'm deliberately going to hold on to just for Halloween um, but here's just the canvas now um, let me show you what was included here rolled up in there so there is a note from Muni Made. There's some really nice info in here, especially talk. I have a, I have a black cat that wasn't in here. That's my fault. I just, I call it like fur, like black cat glitter. It just ends up everywhere, no matter how much I vacuum and dust and wipe things down. So my apologies. I just didn't want you to think that was something that came from Muni Made, especially if you have any pet allergies or anything like that. Anyway, back to this. <laughs> we are listening. They are, you guys, they're very, very receptive to feedback. I've given them feedback before because they are relatively the new diamond painting company um and so i've really appreciated you know their customer service and how receptive they are to feedback uh, so here is a list of kind of step-by-step -step instructions written out for you i also i'll link to a beginner video that i've created below if you want to take a look if you're new and want to just sort of see it demoed for you here are their policies written out for you everything is legally licensed including this kit of course um Here's some up, potential upcoming changes, including some info about the toolkits. And I'll link to some past unboxings I've done from this company where you can see the different the toolkits that can come with these should you choose. But I actually really love that the company offers the option to forego toolkits and minimize plastic waste because, I mean, I know this hobby involves a lot of plastics. I totally understand how that can sound maybe a little bit backwards to say oh look i'm avoiding you know plastic waste i can still say that i'm avoiding waste it's something that i don't need so i like that i can forego it uh we also have this larger sticker sheet there's the you know muni made here's a nice look at the original artwork she's so cute i love this one and there's a spot chart your start and end date and the stats all written out for you 60 by 85 centimeters if you speak in inches 23.6 <laughs> by 33.5 inches it's so funny i i mean i live in the u.s and so um inches is you know what i normally go by but when it comes to diamond painting my brain is just completely operating in centimeters we also have uh these are color lists over here with the dmc color code in the right hand column this is what most diamond painting companies are using including muni made and at the end oh that's fun the stickers are different colors that's really cute you guys are gonna have four ab's in this kit ab's are a special type of diamond that i will show you when we're looking at the diamonds in just a little bit 56 colors in total and these these right here you guys these are actually pre-cut for you we have two sets of pre-cut stickers which is nice depending on what kind of container you use we have these labels then also like if you use the little like screw top um, plastic containers and this would be too big for that they also have ones that are just these little round cutouts that you can use and that's a really fun feature and i feel like they've upgraded these stickers a bit as well because it just looks really more clean <laughs> than i remember from last time not that the last ones were bad this just looks like it's been updated slightly so anyway um let me take you on a little tour of the canvas and we'll look at the diamonds in just a bit but up here at the top, uh, we have their branding of Muni Made. 
And then their canvas fabric, the material, uh, the back is this like short lint, soft lint that we're seeing with a lot of diamond painting companies. And this is a nice weight. Like I said, I've completed, I believe, two canvases from Muni Made so far and have no complaints about the canvas material. And then the glue itself is poured glue. It's pretty sticky. And again, not something that I've had any trouble with whatsoever. So no complaints at all there. And then, oh, it's over here. <laughs> Up here at the top right, we do have the schematic, which has the thumbnail, the size, the unit number, the model number, and then a legend. If you'd like to read off the legend on the canvas, I'm just gonna refer to the stickers that it came with. We have the same legend over here at the bottom left. And then we've got info about the kit, which apprentice by Femme Cadabra, the size, and then of course, copyright. Muni Made does legally license all of their artwork from the artist, which means that like in this case, Femme Cadabra has both given permission for the use of her artwork and is being compensated for it. And this is an artist you may see at other companies as well. And I just wanna make sure in case there's any confusion or concern, that's completely above board. There are a lot of small shops and um, even I guess larger shops too that will share artists sometimes. And it can be totally above board. And I know in this case is if uh, you see artwork uh, from the same artist at different shops. So uh, then here at the bottom right, I love this. They link to the artist's Instagram, which is wonderful too. So there's the Muni Made website. Now, if you wanna take a look at the canvas and the symbols, the clarity on these is really nice. It's good. And we do have lots of what we call color blocking. Now color blocking is when you have lots of the same color in a small area. I love this because you can use a multi-placer and you'll have this color in your tray for longer. So that's really nice. Um, I do also like uh, confetti too because that can give a different effect to your rendering and especially with Muni Maid's rendering style it's giving you some more details now confetti that's maybe not the best example let me find you a better one in this kit and I'll explain more about what it is when you actually can see it in front of you um, but here's a look at the symbols again but the there's a good amount of color blocking this kit this is gonna go nicely quickly I think <clears throat> And I like the symbol clarity is really clear. Okay, so maybe like in her eyes is a good example. There's, yeah, no, there's a lot of color blocking in this kit. So maybe in her eyes, maybe a little bit in this section here. Confetti is when you have more color changes in a small area and you'll be doing more single placing and changing a color out in your tray more often. But the payoff is some more detail, which I feel like... As far as rendering style goes, Muni Made definitely does a lot of hand charting where there is a lot more, um, a lot more, I guess, human eye and touch put into it, I feel like, where uh, you see a lot of cleaner and crisper lines, a little bit few, a bit fewer confetti areas too. I'm gonna grab my measuring tape and just measure just for posterity. Um, but I would say that Muni Maids is definitely more clean and crisp and i do really like it she as as a shop owner in general has a really high attention to detail um that's been evident from day one when she started with selling her fantastic her fantastic 3d printed diamond painting trays which are to this day my about my favorites that are that are out there and i've been collecting them for a long time and they are my go-to's um but just that attention to detail and customer service and and top-notch quality and not settling for anything less has always been a hallmark of Muni Made, and that absolutely is true with her kits as well. So um, I feel like you can feel really good about, about buying from them. <laughs> and I say that as someone that like, I've purchased my kits from them. So anyway, it does measure true to size, by the way. And now we're gonna take a look at the diamonds. There is a sticker on here that this MMR024 is gonna match up with the model number or unit number that is on the legend on the canvas. So if you store these separate from each other and need to match them up, that is the easiest way. Or you can just grab like a, a pen or marker and just write on here the name of it or the company um, and then the size 60 by 85 centimeters let's take a look all right so let's start this end actually like I mentioned this kit comes with round diamonds which thankfully are a little bit 
less problem prone. I didn't have any trouble with the round diamonds I worked with in uh, the first Muni made kit that I worked on was called Deity of the Forgotten and had round diamonds and no trouble whatsoever. This one, this bag looks like it has just a little bit of trash in it. That happens sometimes, but as long as the diamonds are good, um, it's just like little, little specks, but it, that's, you know, it's not a big deal. Really, it doesn't look that bad. Just like a little bit clinging to the side of the bag. These all look, you know, pristine. So I'm not, 310 is a bad color, you guys, just as far as like the issues with producing it across the board. Every single company that you buy from is just notoriously prone to having issues with that color. But anyway, the numbers that are on here, by the way, uh, so number eight, for example, that's gonna match up with the number eight on your sticker sheet there, right there. And then 351 is the DMC code right there. So I um, appreciate that those are both on there. Also, I know a lot of people love working out of these resealable bags. Uh, honestly, not my personal cup of tea because I'm too klutzy. I really prefer to work out of storage containers, but you know what's great about this is that you have the option. You can work out of these resealable baggies if you prefer, or if you're like me, you can just dump these into more structured storage containers and prevent issues. What I'm going to do is take the stickers from the legend, the sticker, rather the sticker sheet that I showed you, and I am going to put those on the storage containers that these will go into. So uh, the colors on this are very, very rich. Look at these big bags of shades of red and reddish brown. But that's going to be some gorgeous shading because they are close to each other. And, uh, yeah, some of them are close to each other anyway. Um, those look good. And let's see, how many? 56 colors in this kit, which I do like that. I like that kind of 40 to 60 color range I feel like can suits most diamond paintings. And especially with the amount of color blocking I saw in this kit, I just, I think this one is going to work up pretty quickly not that speed has to be the goal <laughs> it doesn't necessarily need to be the goal or should be the goal it just depends on the person how you want to work on your project but uh, I like to sometimes I like to work on my diamond paintings quickly and so I tend to mention just sort of how how big of an undertaking I think a project is going to be look at these pretty aquas and blues I'm sure those are in the sky in the background this one too I love this pink color now let me get to the end here. I really want to show you guys, oops. I really do want to show you guys uh, the special drills that came with this kit. So we've got four in total AB colors. So um, it does say AB on here too, on each of these. AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and these are named after the Northern Lights because the special iridescent coating on the tops of these diamonds has just such a gorgeous shimmery effect. These white ones are lovely. And that dark deep red is so good. Uh, so these are gonna stand out from the other diamonds because they have that amazing coating on the top. And it's gonna dry your eye to those areas and highlight those areas. And we've got just four really pretty colors here. I, I don't know that I've worked with like a, this kind of peachy brown color before. Let's look at the canvas together and see if we can find where each of those special drill colors is going to go. So I'm looking, okay, what symbols are we looking for here? Um, we've got the peace sign, the letter D, the three dots, and the check mark. Okay, so try to keep track of these. Let's see, in the leaf here, we have the darker, some of the darker red AB, right? Uh, yeah, 304. We have some of that one. And then, bear with me here, you guys. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Um, we do have here, ooh, the bookmark in this book is the lighter red color, the cherry red color. Then, make sure I'm not missing anything. We have a line of the cherry red ABs right here. And then, we have a couple of the cherry red AB. It's not the brightest red you're seeing here. There's just a couple here and there uh, in this area. And then there's a couple of these three dot ones, which is going to be this kind of peachy beige AB. We've got a little line of them right here, just doing a little line of highlighting. I'm checking to make sure I'm not missing any. I haven't seen much of that peachy AB or any of the white AB just yet, unless I'm missing it. Uh, over here, oh, this is in her hair. Okay, so along here, the light color, is an outline of the peachy beige AB. 
And then I also see, ooh, a lot of the cherry red AB in her hair. A lot of it. Ooh, that's gonna be like a highlighting effect, I think. Yeah, that's gonna be gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And then let's see. Okay, right here is the Peachy Beige AB. It's, this is her necklace, that's what it is. This is her necklace holding onto this pendant. The necklace itself has that Peachy Beige AB and there's a line of the Peachy Beige AB right here too. And then I feel like I'm just, I'm nervous that I'm missing that darker red AB, which was the, the peace sign. I really felt like I just saw it at the bottom. I wanna make sure I'm not missing it. Oh, I am. You guys, I did. I did miss some of it. Okay, let me make sure I didn't miss any at the bottom. I'm just standing further back from it, so I think my eyes didn't register it as well. Okay, there is some of the dark red AB in here as well. So, for example, the letter D is the cherry red AB. The peace sign is the dark red AB. So we do have both of those colors there <laughs> in her hair. My mistake, the letter D and the peace sign. Those are our two different red ABs there in that part of her hair. Okay, how about this part of her hair? Not that I am, so oh, there we go. You see the peace sign here where it's flowing off of her hair. That's the dark red AB where you see the peace sign, right? Oh, big canvas. Sorry, a little unwieldy. I just wanna make sure I'm showing you guys and I'm riding the struggle bus. Okay, so yeah, like in there, that peace sign and there's some up here as well. It goes up here and then we have the cherry red AB joining it as well with the letter D going around. This three dots here, this is the peachy beige AB. As well as up here we have the peachy beige AB and the letter D is the cherry red AB. And then coming back down, the check marks right here, that's our white AB. And there's white AB up here as well. Nice little highlight. And those are the only white ABs that I am seeing. Oh, nope, over here. I did find more. I was like, I think there might be more. The check mark here, okay, this is in the sky, I think. That's our a uh, little bit more of the white AB. There's some white AB down here and here. There's a couple of dots of the white AB right there. And I am, oh, yep. Man, I was gonna say, I am not doing a good job of finding these ABs today. Terrible, I am so sorry. Over here in her necklace, we have a bunch of the white AB. Again, so this, again it's this check mark. And then here, kind of in between her hair strands, this check mark is our white AB. And then there are lines of the white AB over here as well, which I can think is going to kind of give us a sense of how the wind is blowing. I like that. Okay, I feel like it's it's safe to say that I probably missed some of the other ABs and. <laughs> My apologies, I did try to go back and catch as many of them as possible, but I'll just say that I do like the AB placement. It's not heavy handed at all. I like seeing it in her hair and I like um, drawing some like attention to uh, the necklace I think will be really nice. And I think this is gonna turn out really beautifully. So I am, <clears throat> let me show you, where did I put that little rendering update if you're curious, okay. So you can see it here on the canvas, the rendering update that she's included is we're switching this symbol for the letter T symbol. And you can see that symbol in here. And so we're switching it for the letter T, which is the same color as the one right next to it. The background there, even though these are round drills, the background is close enough in shade and you can see the picture of it here that um, the difference in color is I think not going to be noticeable at all in terms of like you aren't gonna see um, a huge difference in the color of the canvas that is gonna peek through around the diamond when you place it, even though it's technically a different color than is otherwise there. It's really close. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> I don't want anyone to, to, to be confused by what I'm saying. I'm just saying in case you're one of those, those people that would kind of notice and wonder, oh, with round drill canvases, since you see the canvas background around the diamond once you place it, the diamond doesn't cover up the entire canvas part. Um, you know, is it gonna look weird because I'm changing out the color uh, there? And I just wanted to reassure you that just looking at it in person, no, absolutely not. I don't think that's gonna be a concern. 
just follow what's been charted and I think it's going to turn out beautifully and you're not going to have to worry about it at all. So anyway, you guys, this is uh, The Witch's Apprentice by Femke Deborah and uh, Muni Maid. And oh, sorry, it's just called Witch Apprentice, not The Witch's Apprentice. So Witch Apprentice and I think it looks amazing <laughs> and I'm excited to see it come together, especially having completed uh, kits from Muni Maid in the past and having been really happy with the quality is top notch. The rendering is very much my taste in terms of just the style and the lines, especially with the artists that she's uh, working with. And I would love for you guys to go and check them out. It's also a really nice way to get your hands on um, some of Muni Maid's really, really hard to come by <laughs> for good reason. Really hard to come by 3D diamond printed, um, 3D printed diamond painting trays. Uh, they're, like I said, they're the ones I tend to reach for the most. And uh, she does do drops from time to time. If you follow her socials, I think Twitter or X is where she tends to post first when she's added, randomly added some trays to her site. And there's a wait list you can sign up for, for a custom order. Um, but if you get one of the diamond painting kits, you can add on a premium toolkit, which is going to come with a coordinating tray. And so that is actually, I think, a really good way to get your hands on one of her trays if you've been wanting to try them out or um, just love them as much as I do. So anyway, I hope this unboxing was helpful and you enjoy getting to see this kit in all her glory. Um, I'm hoping that I can work on her at some point and share with you how she looks completed. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and let you go. I um, would love to have you here as part of my community. If you'd like to subscribe, feel free to do so. And um, otherwise, I'm going to let you go. I hope you have a day and a week that is as amazing as you are. And I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.